Uh, well, what's up, everybody? Oh, I'm trying to scale this mountain side real quick. I'm trying to look cool doing it. <laughs> no luck. Um, so I guess we're gonna call this wedding venue Forish. Um, they are starting their filming on Monday. They got voted the best wedding venue in Tennessee. And uh, there's a TV show coming Monday to film everything. Um, one thing they did was they put thick 6,000 square foot of like some of the best AstroTurf I've ever seen. It feels like real grass. It's really beautiful. Um, so they called me a couple days ago and said, hey, we're filming Monday. We need something here. So in uh, a day and a half, I completely designed this this wall with a, a functional gate seating this and that and uh, we are on the time crunch in some record heat so yesterday heat index 101 102 uh, today heat, heat index 105 so we've been uh we've been getting after sweating hopefully losing a couple pounds i could lose a few um let me see there's not really a good way to come down off this Oh. Um, so I came up real quick with an idea and then um, we we solidified everything and, and got after it immediately on top of a bunch of other orders so um, I got a bench getting picked up in two days Justin's been helping me with that Jojo's been helping me with this my buddy Corey's been helping me luckily with this project and Pops Help me with this. What we got so far is just the main beams, and um, but this will just be a uh, kind of show you what we're doing kind of video. Uh, we don't have time to to go over every little detail and do everything. Um, it's gonna be really beautiful when we're done, and we have a couple of days to do it. So I will uh, I'll touch back with you guys shortly. All right, so day two of wedding venue part four-ish. <laughs> um, last night we were working hard. Um, thankfully, like I said, Corey and Pops are here helping me. Justin's uh, helping me now too. Um, last night went through and stained all the six by six posts. Um, was able to use the big torch. It's return of the big torch. And uh, here's kind of what we got so far. So we got all the posts up, kind of framed up, and then in between will be the slats and all that stuff. So you guys will see that as we go. But we're pushing. We got a couple more days to get this thing done, and we got benches and all kinds of stuff to make with it. So uh, it's gonna be a big team effort, and <sighs> yeah, <laughs> coffee. So what I did do though. And what you didn't see is I kind of rounded the edges off here. I took the hand planer and kind of beveled the edges and then burned them, brushed them, just enough to give it a little bit of texture. Right now they do look a little dark. Um, we used a certain stain and with the sun out today and as hot as it's been, I think it's really gonna kind of, kind of bleach it and lighten it up a little bit. So, make progress. Don't need no stinking gloves, man.
that's about nine, nine, well, almost nine thirty. Um, we are at a stopping point for the night. Um, pretty, pretty happy with the progress. So it's a lot to do in a little amount of time, and uh, we're we're grinding it out. Pops is working harder than ever, and Justin really has stepped up and really put a lot of work and helping the standing all those boards and getting everything loaded and and Corey coming in clutch and Jojo and so and while we're doing this it's my favorite part of the day we'll do that as a background so really happy with it I think the contrast between the uh, the grass area and the wall is really beautiful um, so you can kind of see it so this is going to go all the way across this big section here is going to stay open and that's going to be an entry and we have a, a couple boards and some framing up we're going to do inside there to um to make it a little a little more entryway <laughs> i don't know if that's a word i'm just tired um yeah that's where we're at with everything uh, i like the contrast the textured um what i did is i Came up with a, a essentially a two by two in between the slats. Instead of it's having one solid board, you know, give it a little depth and dimension. And we did a couple different stains. These we burned and brushed. These we didn't. So you know, dark to light contrast to really pull everything together. So we're getting there. We are. Uh, we're gonna pack up for the night. Get try to get some good night's sleep tonight and uh get back after it first thing in the morning i'll see y'all then well it's uh a little late just got back to the warehouse it's about 11 o'clock now and uh gotta finish up doing some staining i don't say this very often um i don't admit it very often but I'm exhausted. <laughs> um, it's a push. It's a push. Feeling it. Feeling the pressure. But we're getting through it. Staying positive and grateful. Um, but I'm going to work a little bit longer. As long as I can. <laughs> Do some more staining. And then call it a night. But pretty, pretty uh, excited with the progress. I'd like to have gotten a little bit further tonight. Um, but we just simply ran out of daylight and you know you, you get tired things get a little more complicated for no reason so I thought it'd be a good idea just to uh, to come back here finish up a couple things try to get some good sleep and then go back fresh tomorrow and get it done <laughs> um, so uh, just want to say good night well so I will see you guys bright and early hopefully i can uh, share the sunrise with you if i remember it's uh it's been beautiful lately hopefully i can get up there before well no. yeah Whew. Goodness gracious. What a journey. How awesome is that? They have a aesthetic waterfall. 
but in this heat, whew, it's a cooler off for machiner. <laughs> um, we have been getting after it all day. Pops and I have been building, building, building. Uh, everybody's back at the shop, uh, getting everything else prepped up, ready to go. And here's where we are. So, we'll give the backup view to it. Now, this 2x4 across the top, don't worry about that. We're taking that off. We just did that for stability. Um, but, minus one little piece over there. The wall is done. And uh, working on the bench now. So, got this all mounted, framed out. Got this section mounted here. And then I got one more little little eight foot section to uh to get fabbed up i had it I had to make a couple couple adjustments and so i unscrewed it but the top of this is going to be just like that so it'll just follow that same flow kind of down and around so this is it though Uh, the bad part is though, I think I'm still gonna have to run to Lowe's tomorrow. Um, I think about five boards short. Not to brag and boast, but I did go to school here, and uh, to be only five off, I'm pretty excited about that. <laughs> so, uh, we are gonna finish doing a couple little things. Um, we've been here since 7 30, 8 o'clock this morning, and uh been getting after it since about six o'clock this morning and i'm gonna share this view with you one more time today this morning you know it was all foggy you couldn't see anything and as the sun lifted up god blessed us with this that just does not get old So we're gonna start picking up. So we got a couple more screws to board. A couple more screws to board. A couple more boards to screw. Do some cleaning up, and, and I think that's it for the day. I'm gonna get some good dinner. Uh, try to watch some hockey, not fall asleep. We've uh, we pulled two 16, 17 hour days uh, between yesterday and the day before. And it'll be about the same today, so um, we'll have 60 hours in this in three days, three and a half days, 70 hours in four days, I don't know. <laughs> so, um, you probably see it in my face. I am tired, but we're going to push through. You know, this is something they wanted to make happen, so they called me, knowing we would do whatever it takes to make it happen. And so, it's, uh, it's definitely a blessing. Uh, I've never built a fence before. And so I did put my little artistic spin to it. There was a lot that I wanted to do. Um, I really had to calm it down some. The artist in me, man, I just, I hate straight edges stuff. So that's why we did the, the um, opposing slats, I guess, just to give it a little bit of texture. We could have very easily just came in and put a wall up and been done. And uh, it wouldn't have gave the same look. And it just, it, it has a beautiful, peaceful feel to it. And so Monday morning they're shooting their show. And uh, so all this out here will be full of games and tables and chairs. And um, it's going to be awesome. Like I said, we're going to clean up. I'm going to, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Unless I do a video tonight. Alright, so day three, four, two, one, I don't know. <laughs> uh, we are 
doing some some final touches. We are uh, clean this camera off real quick. Seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, real dim light. There's light there, but man, we still have a lot to do. Um, but we got the majority of this project um, done just in time for the uh, the filming tomorrow of the TV show. I got one more little piece to um, to do on top. Sorry, it's been. Oh, I look, I look like I'm in the jungle. <laughs> uh, I'm a little loopy right now. Um, I got one more little finishing piece to do, uh, but it's really coming together. Um, well, it's been a journey, but I'll show you where we're at so far. So we got one 16 foot bench here, another 16 foot bench there with the wall incorporated. We did a cedar bar countertop over here and we'll have another little bench over here at some point, but not right now. But Minus some finishing up little trim details here and there, we are just about done for now. <laughs> Uh, eventually we're going to add some light to the top and uh, do some more things. But Well, as you can see, it is not light anymore. It is uh, almost 1230. And we are packing up. Calling it a night day, night, week, month, all of that, um, probably gonna come back in the morning, just double check everything, they're starting to film at 9, so it'd be a little hard to see, but we got everything framed up, got all the 2x4s off the roof, I had this piece of 4x8 put up top, did a custom engrave with their name, the color match the fence and then we made this black uh, metal oh you can't see it at all well there's a metal pipe that goes across here where they can put curtains where it'll drape and so uh, they put this no smoking sign got it trimmed up and this is the back side of it so we're still gonna continue to do some more stuff uh, here in the future but the main thing is just getting the basics of everything put in, and that way, for the show tomorrow, it'll be, uh, be good to go. So, to the custom bar top sink, or not sink, custom bar top, cedar bar top, and then <coughs> the the benches are all framed in, <clears throat> ready to go. And so, we just like a couple little trim pieces here and there, but. It was a 17 and a half hour day today, so uh, we're gonna make our way back up the hill to Sevierville, and I'll see you guys in the morning.
a journey. Um, my pops, man, he, you know, our Father's Day was over there working. We were there 17 hours pushing through, getting it done. Never once complained. I was just so grateful to be there, and I just, so, it was a beautiful day. It was a, a heck of a job. Um, to be looking so simple, we put a little finesse on what would be just a normal fence, you know, and put our artistic flair onto it, gave it some character, and um, I'm excited. The shoot went good today, from what I'm told. And as soon as the, uh, the show comes out, we'll be able to see the groom's table and then the bench area. And we have more, more things happening with that. We're going to be adding some more stuff to it and building another deck and uh, doing a little smoking area for everybody. So they figured they'd ask me what they should do for a smoking area because they don't, you know, they don't smoke. I do. Uh, so... We'll be doing some other stuff. You know, it's definitely out of the realm of carving. Uh, I guess it is. It is woodworking at some point. You know, more building. So it's not anything I've ever done before. Um, it took me. Let's see, they called me Monday. Sketch up some ideas Monday night. One of their Tuesday, we changed everything up, and then by Wednesday, we Wednesday afternoon, we got all the supplies and just got after it and so uh it is monday it is game three of the stanley cup finals the lightning are not looking so good we're zero and two in the series we got blowed out saturday so hopefully we're gonna get a, a victory today but we're gonna celebrate with our own favorite mustard covered steaks Now usually I would soak these in water for about 30 minutes before I did all that, but we don't have a sink over here and I'm starving so I'm being impatient. Uh, well, dinner was amazing. I am stuffed and, and I'm ready for some sleep. I hadn't had a lot lately. Uh, but it's uh, hockey's on. It's a nice, cool night, thankfully. Uh, we got a little break in the heat. I'm going to enjoy some time with Pops, but I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for joining me on this journey of changing the world one piece at a time. And I'm happy to be able to I'm happy to be able to share this with you guys as much as I can. Um, I'm I have some plans in the future to maybe have some some bigger and better things as far as like the videos and stuff go. So uh, I appreciate y'all's patience. I appreciate the love and the support. Check out our Facebook page. There's a bunch of pictures and stuff on there and uh, all my information there so if you have any orders or anything that's the best way to get in contact with us but i love y'all god bless and uh i'll see you guys real soon we got some cool projects coming